question uh, 2.40. Here it says for a ladder network in figure, uh, find I and uh, equivalent resistance. All right, so this one should be pretty straightforward. Um, so let me zoom this one and work on this. Okay, so these two, uh, we can tell they're in series, right? So we can just simplify this uh, into three volts, uh, three ohms, sorry. And then these two, they will be in parallel with each other, right? So one over three uh, plus one over six, it would be two, so it would be uh, three. No. Let's see. Let's try this again. One over three plus uh, one over six would be two plus three, so it would be two. Right? It would be two uh, ohms. Right? Pretty sure. Uh, let's check this real quick. Yep. And then uh, you have with this, okay, you have two ohms. And now these are in parallel, right? With the two ohms, that's four. Four with four ohms, that's two ohms. Um, right? This four ohms. And, uh, and this four ohms simplifies to two ohms. And then these two are in series, right? That would just be 10 ohms. And then, great. So 10 ohms is our uh, uh, resistance, uh, equivalent resistance. And we have voltage 15. So 15 over 10 ohms give us the current, which is a 1.5 current, right? And this is this is what you do when you're like super flu uh, fluent with uh, the resistors and how like you can simplify them pretty quickly. Uh, so what I usually do this so this is the mathematical uh, version of this, right? So I'll write this real quick. Um, as we can see, the one and the two, right? We add each other, and then this whole equation uh, is finding the because they're parallel, and then we we'll find the uh, equivalent resistance between the 1, 2, and 6. And then now we have this, uh, which is 2. We add this to give us 2 uh, resistance. And then one. Um, it's 1 over 2 plus 2. Right, 1 over 2 plus 2. OK. So yeah. And the 2 here is this 2 over here, and then this 2 over here that we simplified, right? And then this whole thing uh, gives you two ohms, and then the two plus eight, and then uh, that's how we got the uh, 10, okay? So there we go. Uh, this one is not really that hard comparing to some of the others in the book. Uh, so hopefully you were able to solve this one uh, on your one, because if you're watching this before exams and you're having trouble with this one, then I'm a little worried and you'll probably have to stay up pretty late tonight to review for the exams. But otherwise, uh, this should be pretty straightforward. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.